Good day, folks. Let's look at question nine. Um, the electrolytic cell shown below is used to is used for electrolysis of copper chloride, which means the decomposition of copper chloride. We're decomposing the copper chloride. So what's happening here? It's it's a Cu two plus plus Cl minus. They decompose. We're splitting it by electricity. Um, so the electrolytic um or the electrolysis is decomposing the copper chloride by using electricity which is we have the battery here we have the power source here so we're decomposing that copper chloride into that so what's happening here um if you look at the the electrodes here with the the a and b are carbon electrodes so these carbon electrodes are inert um these two so they which means by inert they do not react with anything that just act as electrodes right but they're good conductors of electricity so what's happening here um if you look at this um the the, the this electrode b is connected to the positive side right it's connected to the positive side which is the the this one is positive so anode it's the it's an anode which is oxidation occurs there and this one is connected to the negative side which is it's a what it's a cathode so which is the reduction occurs there so um which means if this is it's a, it's, a, it's an anode it will release or it, it will lose electrons so that loss of electrons it leaves this one positively charged right so this is this is composed the copper chloride is composed the chloride ions in this copper chloride they are attracted they because they negatively charged they are attracted to the positively charged electrode and the copper ions the cu2 plus they are attracted oh this one it gains the electrons so the electrons uh, move to electrode B, which is the reduction. So since this electrode is pos is negatively charged, the electrons will be um, attracted there. Will be attracted there. So there will be a deposition here. Deposition of copper here. So uh, graphically, for for electrode B, the mass of what? The mass of copper. The mass of copper here. In, in in grams it's going to increase and this will be time for here so what is going to happen here in the electrode b um this chlorine chloride ion will be ox will oxidized to chlorine gas which is it will be bubbles there it will form bubbles there so it will be chlorine gas there right Okay, let's leave that. It says define the electrolysis. Electrolysis, guys, we define according to the exam guideline. It's a process. It's a chemical process in which the electrical energy is converted to chemical energy. Now, it's asking here, is the process of electrolysis exothermic or endothermic? It is endothermic, guys, because we're adding an energy and we're conver converting that energy uh, into a electrical, uh, into chemical now um 9.3 it says write down the half reaction that occurs at electrode b electrode b we said it's anode it's an anode and oxidation occurs there so it will be it's this chlorine gas it's this chlorine chloride ions you see these chloride ions they form the gas bubbles there as i've mentioned so it will be the cl minus um releases the electron it will be cl2 that means it's two chloride ions and then there will be two electrons that's how you write it there so this is the gas that is formed um around the around that electrode now it says uh, 0 0.369 grams of copper is deposited in the cathode in 27 minutes so this copper is deposited here around the electrode a while um this is decomposed for 27 minutes so we're given time the this is our time but we have to change it into seconds with times by 60. so when we times 27 by 60 27 by 60 it will be 1620 seconds and then we're given that mess now at 9.4 it says calculate the electrical current so what do they want the electrical current it's i measured in mps so that movement of the electrons there 
in time in that 27 minutes we call it it's an electrical current so what is the first thing that you're going to do there the first thing that you're going to do is to convert this mass into number of moles so step number one is to convert the mass into number of moles using that formula number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass and then that's what we do and then it's it's what it's going to be 0 0.369 divided by the mass of copper it's let me double check it's 63.5 if i'm not mistaken yeah it's 63.5 and then if you punch that in the calculator 0 0.369 um, divided by 63.5 the answer is 58 the answer is 58 comma one one uh, times 10 to the power negative three more it's an amount of moles of that copper that is deposited there now step number two now that we have the number of moles we're going to calculate um, in step number two the number of moles of electrons the number of moles of electrons in step number two so we're going to change this number of moles into number of moles of electron right and what we're we going to do we're going to use the ratio the copper is to electron now what do we do now what do we do we said copper is to electrons um, now what is the ratio how many electrons in this oxy of, of copper if you look at the at the copper as copper reduces uh, the copper it's cu2 plus plus two electrons um, uh, will be reduced to cu as a solid state which is the cu that is deposited in that in that electrode and that carbon electrode so how many electrons there there are two electrons so it's going to be two is to one that's the ratio uh, two is to one and then what do we want we want this number of moles in terms of electrons so we put the x there we do not know how much number of moles in terms of electrons so we're going to put this answer here so it's five comma eight one one times ten to the power negative three and then we cross multiply there our x will be um will be this uh, two times um five comma one one with times by two so it will be zero comma zero comma eleven six two two or more or more of what of electrons so this this is the number of moles um, in terms of electrons or the number of moles of electrons now um, we we the step number three we're going to change um, we're going to change this uh, number of moles of electrons into electrons uh, what do we use so we change the number of moles of electrons to um the electrons to the number of electrons using what using the avogadro's formula the avogadro's formula this formula this uh the number of electrons and it is the number of moles of electrons and we get the electrons there using the avogadro which is the constant you get it at the at the data sheet so we use that formula number of moles of electrons is equal to number of electrons divided by the Avogadro's constant so we take this we substitute it here at 0 0.11 um, 0.11622 equal to the number of electrons we divide by the Avogadro times 10 to the power 23 and then I'll say in my calculator I still have the answer the answer times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 so the answer the number of electrons these are the number of electrons at 6.99 um 6 um 964 uh, times 10 to the power times 10 to the power 21 um electrons these are the electrons that were transferred in that 27 minutes when the copper that was deposited there but now we do not want the number of electrons we want 
the 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 current so we're going to step number four step number four we're going to change the number of of electrons into charges into charges so how do we do that we use the quantization of charge so we say the number of electrons is equal to charge divided by the the qe which is each um um, each electron is equal to that so we're going to quantize so we're going to do the opposite here we want the charges we do have this one this one guys you get it each electron it's 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 I know each electron is negative but we're not going to use negative in this case so this number of electrons we're going to use it here we're going to substitute it there so we substitute it's 6.99 Six four times ten to the power twenty one equal to we're looking for two, and then we use um then the, the amount of one electron it's one point six times ten to the power negative nineteen and then we cross multiply, so our two it's going to be we still have the answer in the calculator I'll just multiply by one point six times ten to the power negative nineteen. So it will be the charges now, those electrons in terms of charges, it's one 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 nine um comma four three five five nine one coulombs. Guys, the reason I'm writing in, in, in more decimal places the answers because I am not yet in the final answer. So I'll round off in the final answer. Now finally, step number five, we convert the charges. Um, the number of charges into current. What do we use? We use the formula that says current is equal to Q over change in T. You get this in the data sheet. You don't have to memorize it. So we substituted the charge. It's one 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 nine four three five five nine one. We all divided by. Remember, we've changed the time. Our time there it was. Uh, 1620 seconds when we converted to 27 minutes 1600 and what forgot now 1620 so we say unsign the calculator divide by 1620 so the current it's going to be 0 0.6 um, 0 0.69 MPS that's the current. That's how you calculate that.